Now let's look at this example. Uh, this time you'll notice the one difference is we don't have those large exponents. We now actually have an unknown in our exponents and this usually gets people almost as confused as those large exponents but really there's no difference. We still follow the same ideas. We prime the basis, we find similar powers if we can't already cancel common factors. Try to get similar powers so that in our third step we can factorize. Okay, so um, I should have actually actually changed this to common powers. Find, create common powers. Okay, so um, what are we going to do first? Well, we need to prime the bases. We prime the bases when the bases do not have, uh, when the bases aren't the same. Then we then we prime the bases. So here we see we don't have same bases. So now this 15 again remember this is 3 times 5 that those are two prime numbers to give 15 and I put it in a bracket so that I don't forget that the H belongs both to the 3 and to the 5 because 15 consists of prime factors 3 and 5 plus now what you can do in this case you can almost jump a step and change this into 5 to the power of H times 5 to the power of okay and you'll notice in just a second why we do that so when I have exponents that are added okay I'm, I'm already in step 2 I try and create common powers now you'll notice that this one when we distribute the H we're going to get 5 to the power of H so I'm just almost skipping ahead one step uh, and just doing it all in in this first step already 3 to the power of 2 H I love that that's already a prime base Okay, I'm going to keep it as, uh, I can keep it as 3 to the power of 2h or I can make it 3 to the power of h because 2h is simply h plus h. Okay, so I can just change it to 3 to the power of h times 3 to the power of h. I would not, well this could also be 9 to the power of h, I would not recommend you do that because that's going in the opposite direction. Uh, um, as priming the bases but uh, you could have done that sometimes it would have been appropriate but in this case why did I not just leave it as 3 to the power of 2h well again notice I'm trying to skip a step there's a 3 to the power of h I want common powers so I want to take out a 3h as a common factor so um, I'm looking ahead to see what would my next step be and notice that well, while well, that means I'm going to have to split this into h plus h and write it as 3 to the power of h times 3 to the power of h. Now plus 20, uh, 5 is 5 times 5 or just 5 squared times 3h. Okay and I hope you can see what is coming. So let's see in our next step let's distribute this as 3 to the power of h times 5 to the power of h. Of course in this step you could have done it already and you could have only done the, um, the taking out of a common factor um, in this step already. Okay, But that is almost the only thing we're doing in this step so it would have probably been best just to have done what I'm doing now in the previous step already. Uh, but it doesn't matter having extra steps if you have the time of course. So let's see how this one pans out. What can we take out now as a common factor? That would be our third step factorize and this just simply comes down. It's got nothing to do um, with the exponents. It's got all to do with how we simplify fractions. We factorize if we can't, if we have more than one term in the numerator or denominator or both. So here we see we can take out a 5h as a common factor, 5 to the power of h. We're left with 3 to the power of h plus 5 squared. In the denominator we see we can take out a 3 to the power of h and we're left with a 3 to the power of h plus 5 squared. This is brilliant because now we can simply cancel those two because this whole bracket is equal to that whole bracket. So this bracket can divide into that bracket leaving me with 1. Okay, we don't need to write one when it's a factor and there's other factors present so we don't even need to write anything. All we have now is 5 to the power of h divided by 3 to the power of h. Now when we have the same exponents 
we can do the operation on the um, if it's multiply or divide on uh, the denominators oh sorry the, the the bases so you can write this as 5 divided by 3 all of this to the power of h okay you'll recall if we have a numerator and a denominator and this whole thing has an exponent we can write it with the numerator gets the exponent and the denominator gets the exponent so kind of a distribution of the exponent to a numerator and denominator now we've just gone in this direction we have uh, we have done the opposite I suppose you could almost see it as taking out a common exponent almost like that just don't take that too literally um, but that's almost what it looks like doesn't it but the point being is that actually when we have same exponents then I may divide the bases if if the two powers are being divided with one another or let me say it better if I've got two powers that are being divided and they've got the same exponents then I may divide the bases and keep the exponent um, that that's probably more correct well I think it was fairly simple if you if you follow the the reasoning from the beginning uh, just some some tips and uh, I think the next one might be the most difficult we've looked at so far and it's still not really that bad I'll see you in that video